And if you ain't going to talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. Best believe. No one's walking around here stink 2022. Welcome to the Cherries TV. <laughs> Welcome to Cherries TV. My name is Abby and I'm a fragrance lover. I love anything that smells, feels, and smells good. You guys, welcome back to another video. By the title of this video, please don't run, don't hide, because somebody got to talk about it. Before we get into that, if you are new here, my name is Abby and on this channel, we talk about fragrances, anything that has to do with smelling good, feeling good, we talk about it and we also do lifestyle content. If that sounds like something that you're definitely interested in, go ahead and grab a seat, hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, put it on all so that you'll be notified for every single video that I do post. Guys, here. there's a lot of things that you have to do before you start wearing your fragrances. This video is for my ladies. If you want me to do the male version, go ahead and comment down below. A lot of people steer away from talking about this because they feel like it's too personal or they just feel like it's nobody's business. But honestly, there's a lot of women out there and young ladies that do not know how to properly take care of their self when it comes to hygiene. I'm here to make you feel comfortable to talk about it. I want you guys to feel like this is a safe space. Um, this is a no judgment zone. If you used to do anything on this list, don't feel bad. Just go ahead and stop doing it. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. The first thing when it comes to feminine hygiene, you have to know that your body have a natural Natural smell um everyone's body has natural smells when you hear someone say that oh she smelled like flowers or oh she smelled like this nine times out of ten 9.99999 times out of ten the girl does not smell like flowers you're not supposed to smell like flowers you're supposed to smell like fresh clean bare skin okay and each part of your body smells different from the next part you know um your armpit does not smell the same way that it smells down there um your behind your ear does not smell the same way that it, your foot smells like every part of your body smells different it's not a bad scent it's a natural scent i do not want you to think that down there is supposed to smell like flowers because how do you make it smell like flowers by using soaps and putting it up there or spraying fragrances now the proper way to use soap is on the body the outside surfaces you should never put soap down there never put soap and when i mean down there i mean inside where you know we're all grown here right um and i'm sure there's younger kids that's probably gonna watch this as well but you should not be putting anything inside of there when it comes to soap because that will throw off your ph balance that will cause different type of problems such as yeast infections different type of urinal infections so you have to be very careful everyone smells natural down there now if you start to smell some abnormal smell, a bad odor, or if it smells a little fishy or very like, you know, rotten and it shouldn't, that means you need to go to the hospital and get some help. That's all it means because you might have something, but you don't realize it because it may be something that you're doing at home, probably putting soap in there or you're using the wrong soap and it's, it's just not matching up. Please go to the hospital. But if you smell like normal bare skin, then that's okay because that's what it's supposed to smell like. It's not supposed to smell like juicy flowers or a uh, hermane amber rouge. It's supposed to smell like a clean, fresh skin, okay? And in order for it to smell like that, you guys, you gotta let your, your down part breathe. And when I say breathe, I mean you have to wear the proper undergarments. Yes, I know those silk and satin underwears are very beautiful, but those are not underwears that you can wear every single day. Preferably, you can wear a lace underwear or a cotton because lace usually have little holes in them because it's lace and you're able to get air in there and breathe and then cotton as well. It has openings that allows you to breathe easily. It does get moist. And I'm not talking about sexually moist. I'm just talking about like daily walking around, friction. It's it's not moist enough for you to even, you know, physically see it, but it's there. If you are a skinny jean lover like me, I usually get one size up because <laughs> even though the tight, slim, mm, body forming pants are cute, those are not pants that you should be wearing every single day because it can cause 
friction and it can cause you to not be able to breathe. And if it's not breathing, then infections and other things are welcome to grow in. It's not going to be a good thing. So be sure to wear the proper underwear. Be sure to make sure that if you are wearing skinny jeans, it's not like a daily skinny jean every single day or pants. It can't be super tight. You have to let it breathe. So cleansing down there, like I said before, no soap should be going up there. Technically, you only need warm water to clean down there. But like, look, if you're anything like me, I feel like warm water ain't it. So what I would suggest to get something very natural, very light, antibacterial st style soap or something unscented, very, very light. And when I mean light, I mean light. For example, you can use honey pots. This is a natural um, sensitive foaming wash. It's plant-based. It is um, good for your pH. It's 100% natural. And this is a black owned um, company. You can find it at Target and um, Walmart and stuff like that, Whole Foods. You can use that if you need an extra boost of cleansing this. Now those other ones that's on the market, those ones are not too well because they will mess up your pH balance. Now this one, if you really need that cleaning, like I know during the time of the month, um, sometimes you want that extra clean, then this is perfect for you. Avoiding now, yeast infections. I know a lot of you girls probably get yeast infections and um, it is something that's very curable. So don't be scared if you've never had one or if you have one right now and you just don't know what to do, you're looking at this video. There's several steps that you should take. First step that I would say is go to the doctor so they can help you out. If you currently have one right now and you wanna learn how to avoid it, here's some steps that you should follow. When you're using the restroom, go ahead and wash your hands first and use the restroom. And then after you're done, wash your hands again. Um, you're touching the doors, you're touching money, you're touching doorknobs, you're touching your phone, you're touching every little thing, corners, walls, um, things that holds bacteria. And you need to pee and you're running, 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 running. And you forget that your hands was touching all of that stuff. You physically don't see that it's dirty, but it is dirty and it has a lot of germs and bacteria. You don't want to go wipe yourself with that hand, even though you are using a napkin, you touch the napkin, your hand had bacteria, now that napkin does have bacteria as well. What I would suggest to do is wash your hands first before you go to the restroom and make sure you lay out your stuff before you wash your hands. Like if you have to lift up the seat and you have to lay out your paper, do all of that, especially in public, do all of that first, wash your hands and then use the restroom and then wash your hands afterwards. Um, it is not safe to use the restroom without washing your hands. It, it might sound like a lot, but once you start getting into the habit of it, it's second nature. I always wash my hands first, go to the restroom, and then come back and wash my hands. It's just like a routine that you gotta do. Just get yourself in that routine. I would highly suggest to change your towels every three days. Um, that's how I am because I'm, I'm kinda OCD. But if you really can't afford that, one week max. Do not use the same towel past one week because think about it, you're wiping yourself. The towel will hold those waters that, you know, that was wiping yourself and it will turn into bacteria. You do not want to do that. Um, you just want to, you know, avoid wiping down there with that towel that you just wiped your whole body. If you can afford it, make sure you use um, disposable towels, paper towels to dry down there because that's another way you can get a yeast infection. Because imagine you're wiping your body and you, and I know how y'all do when it comes to the back, you're doing this. That's kind of like scrubbing again. Now you took off the last two layers of bacteria that you kind of missed when you were showering and you go wipe down there with it. That is just not okay. Just thinking about it just makes me want to barf. And if you are a person that has yeast infections constantly, try to do that. And another tip to avoid yeast infection, especially if you're sexually active, is making sure you and your partner are clean before y'all have. I know sometimes y'all be getting in the moment, it be getting hot and bothered and you just don't think about that, but that is something that you definitely, definitely need to think about. Before laying down with that person, make sure y'all both wash your hands and y'all both have clean parts. 
because that will save you so much money under doctor visits just for them to tell you that it's a yeast infection you know so those are some tips that i think that will help you in the long run when it comes to yeast infection another good thing for your down there for it to breathe more is when you're going to sleep sometimes wear very loose underwear or don't wear underwear at all you know if you're that type of person that just feels like oh i need to have underwear i would slowly transition to like a booty short or a boxer that way you kind of still have that security down there your thing deserves to breathe the same way you're breathing you got her on a choke hold when you have that underwear on so take it off when you go to sleep and usually when you're in a relationship <clears throat> that's probably not gonna be on anyway so that's besides the point but that's another way to um help your heart breathe all right you guys so now that we're done with down there we're gonna move up to the rest of the body such as your armpits now this is something that you ne definitely need to take care of your armpits your armpits your armpits that's where most of the smells will come through when you're sweating but guys if you're a big girl like me the armpit is not it when you get out of the shower after using a moisturizing or a drying whichever type of soap that you like the first thing you need to do after you dry your body and put your oils or whatever you need to put your deodorants on and if you're a big girl like me deodorant has to go in these places your armpits if you have big titties definitely under the boobs you should be fine your armpits are not the only ones that sweating your boobs are believe it or not people don't know that lotion is good for you um, or body butters are good for you a lot of people wear lotions so bad people think that you can put lotions in your private areas you know I understand if you're a little ash around your thigh area but on your private no now if you really are dry down there there's definitely moisturizers specifically for that um, so if I find any, I will link it in the description box below, but for sure, never put lotion down there. You should never put perfume down there because you can mess up your pH balance. And if your pH balance is messed up, that can cause, that could also lead to death sometimes, you know, and it can lead to fertility issues. You do not want none of that. So you girls keep that area just very simple please you have to use a wash down there honey pot is the best one to go to when it comes to natural and you still have to use it on top not inside another thing that is very important when it comes to hygiene is your breath you have to make sure you clean your teeth because the first thing that people notice when you they walk in is your scent your face and then when you say something they're gonna hear it. they're probably gonna smell it before they even hear what you say so please take care of your teeth um the most important part in your mouth when you're cleaning it is your tongue because that's where all the bacteria and the scent sits from all the food and if you've had your mouth closed for longer than 15 to 30 minutes your breath is gonna start to smell a little different because bacteria is settling in and you don't have that air that's coming breathing in and breathing out the bacteria so you have to keep that in mind because a lot of people have beautiful white teeth but they do not brush their tongue if you don't like you're gonna always have bad breath brushing your teeth is not literally what it is brushing your teeth no you have to brush your teeth you have to brush your tongue okay you have to think about the whole body a lot of people think that fragrance lovers and fragrance reviewers smell so good because of just taking the fragrance no what you do in the shower from when you start all depends on how long and how good that fragrance is gonna smell on your body you can't just come from work sweating like a bullet and spray on perfume you can't you can't it doesn't work it's gonna not, it's not gonna smell the same way that it smells on me like you really have to take care of your hygiene it's not only fragrances it's more to that and i just wanted to tell you guys that and that was it for the video you guys thank you so much for joining me here again if you would like for me to do a part two for the men go ahead and comment it down below but i hope you guys felt free and if you know any other tips go ahead and comment it down below because this is a safe space for all of us girls and guys for us to feel free there's a no judgment zone if you did this don't worry i just hope that this video was able to help you um don't forget that i do post every fridays tuesdays and sundays at 5 p.m eastern standard time and then monday at noon um eastern standard time all right guys until we meet again please 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 stay safe and keep on smiling fragrances bye <laughs>